Welcome to this video on Dynamics 365. Today I would like to show you the ways how you can access the Dynamics 365 Dataverse, which is in fact a database for all the Dynamics 365 apps like sales, field service, customer service and so on. In particular I would like to show you four options that you have. The first is directly via the Power Platform Admin Center. The second is an Excel add-in. Third is SQL Server Management Studio and the last option could be Power BI. Now let's get started with option one, the Power Platform Admin Center. So when you have a browser op open, like uh, me in this case, I'm connected to Dynamics 365 and I'm authenticated against Dynamics 365. Open a new tab, start with make powerapps.com which brings you to the Power App site. As you might know, all the Dynamics 365 applications are now hosted within Power Apps. Make sure you choose uh, the right environment here. So in my case this is CRM 10.4 something. And on the left side from data you can expand the tables. You see here the tables for Dynamics 365. If you're missing some tables, make sure that you choose from this drop down here all to see all the tables, in particular the MS DUN tables, which host a lot of information for the Dynamics 365 apps. Uh, you can uh, scroll and search for the table here. For example, here are the accounts. I can also go here to the search bar type account, you see the list is automatically filtered. And by clicking on account, it loads the table and the metadata for the table for me. We see here all the columns, the type of the columns, and from the last point, data, make sure you switch the view to all. You have a list of all the data within this table here. You can see it's a quite huge table with a lot of columns. And if you select such an entry, for example City, Power and Light, you can use the edit mode here to open it in a Dynamics 365 form. And here you could edit the table entry like you are known from Dynamics 365. So this is option one. Option two is to use the Excel add-in. From the menu bar here, choose data and select edit in Excel. This will create an Excel file for you that is linked to this table and when you click on it Microsoft Excel is popping up and an add-in is loading. As you can see on the right side you have to trust the add-in and the add-in is now trying to connect to the Dataverse. Make sure that you authenticate with the correct user. If you get an error here sign out in Excel and sign in again with the correct user and then this add-in is able to connect to the Dataverse. And as you can see, I have here all these elements. The good thing with the Excel add-in is that in this application I could uh, not only read but also edit uh, the entries here. For example, if we choose here fourth coffee and scroll to the side and let's say the address is no longer Renton, but it's the beautiful city of Linz. And now let's say Publish. This will publish the modification, in this case uh, city, back to Dynamics 365. This means when we now go back here to Fourth Coffee, and say please refresh the data. 
you see false coffee is now located in Linz. So with the Excel add-in you can read and write the data directly. Another option is to use SQL Server Management Studio. In order to do so, you have to make sure that the tabular data stream endpoint is active. You do this by going to the admin center, clicking on the cheer up here, select admin center, Select the correct environment, in this case it's CRM 10.4 something. And from the settings, open the product group and go to the features or functions. Scroll down and here you have TDS endpoint, so tabular data stream endpoint. Make sure this is active. You could also use uh, the search here by typing TDS and this will bring up the form to activate tabular data stream as well. So both is possible, just make sure for the environment you want to access this tabular data stream is active. Now what we can do is we can start SQL Server Management Studio. The server address is the address of the application. So when you have a look here, we are in the sales hub. This address here, org52 something, is the address for the SQL Server Management Studio server name. The type of authentication is Azure AD with a password. Type in the username, type in its password. Click Connect. And as you can see, here from the databases, we can now access this database. And like that, this is a read-only access, so in contrast to Excel, you cannot edit here. The only thing that you can do is uh, reading and querying this uh, database. So for example, within here we could say, select everything from account, execute And we have also accounts. We can also say select all from invoice. We have accounts and invoice and of course we can create the SQL join here. So let's say we want to have the name from our customer which is located in the field name and we are joining with the invoice on a dot account id is i dot account id and we would like to have the invoice id and the invoice total amount. You can see we have two invoices. This is the name of the customer. This is the invoice ID. This is the total amount. So you can make select statements. You can make joins here. But like I said, because this is a read-only database, no insert, no updates, and you cannot create any views here, you have to write the SQL statement right here. The last one option I would like to talk about is to use Power BI to access the system. What you can do, the easiest way, is go to the Power Apps, to your tables, click on Data, 
and analyzing Power BI. This will create a PPX file and when you open this file Power BI is opening and is trying to connect to the Dataverse. You can see the view is similar. We have this application here. We have the accounts here. I'm selecting the accounts and load. And now Power BI is connecting to the Dataverse and is loading the accounts. Now Power BI has finished loading the data, making the connection and as you can see here we have a direct query connection to the account table in the Microsoft Dataverse. You could also go directly from Power BI, so if you don't want to use this shortcut here from Power Apps, simply open Power BI. And you can use the Dataverse connector, which is built in in Power BI. This is this here. Click on the Dataverse connector. And you can now access the application. In my case, it has remembered the authentication and the uh, server name. If you have another application, make sure to edit uh, data sources or delete it and then you have to provide this data source, the org something, a server name and authenticate with a user. And the same here with this connector, select the table you're interested in, click on load and now you have to decide do you want to make an import, so do you want to load the data into Power BI directly or do you want to make a direct query and simply make the connection. In this case I'm going for the import mode. And as you can see again, we have the account table here. And because this is import mode, we can also view the data that has been loaded from Dynamics 365 into the Power BI file. So these are the four options that you have. You can use the admin send and Power Apps, you can use an Excel add-in, you can use SQL connection, and you can also use the Power BI Dataverse connector.